Hello everyone, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you today how you can draw this sunburst or starburst, whatever they call it. Maybe it has both names in Adobe Illustrator. So it's pretty cool. It has like a nice retro effect and you can use starbursts for a lot more than you think you can. I've seen them used a lot in uh, uh, van mock-ups for like logos and stuff like that, like for uh, plumbers even. Not this particular one, it's pretty retro, but um, I've seen them used there anyway. Uh, cereal boxes, you name it. Let's go to the polygon tool. We'll right click in here, choose the polygon, click on your screen. We'll get this pop-up box because my board is about 19 by 1080. I'm going to make this 500 and three sides. We'll click OK. And now we're going to squeeze this in like about so. And I'll go to the select tool. I'm just going to position it, maybe try and find the center, something like that. Now, this thing needs to be, because we have a rectangle here, we need this to be long enough that when we rotate it, that it will actually extend beyond here. So let's just make this longer. Okay, we can also change that later. So it's not a big deal. Um, let's turn it black for now. Let's turn it black. Okay, so with it selected, we'll go to Effect. Distort and Transform and Transform. So we get this pop-up box, it's pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. So what we wanna do is right here, we wanna choose this middle top box and we're gonna make, we're gonna try for 30 copies. Well, actually we have one plus 29, which makes 30. So we'll go 29 in this box here because we want 29 more pieces. Up here, this circle, because we want it to rotate around a circle, a circle is 360, 360 degrees, and we're gonna divide it by the number of pieces we want, which is 30. Okay, uh, I'll click okay, and that's, that's what we have. We have our starburst. Now, we can edit this, we can change it, we can move it up and down, and you see the spacing between gets bigger or smaller as you move it up and down. Now, we, we wanna make sure it covers the all corners, but if you want it, if you find the space isn't enough, you can move it over that way and make sure you're using this original copy rather than one of these others, the one that's on the bottom there. So you can make it really thin or thick or even. I'm gonna go with something like that. And then I'm gonna go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and we're gonna twist it. Now we get this pop-up box here and I'm going to choose I'll choose 45 first and see what it looks like now that's pretty darn twisty so I'm going to go 25 I'll click preview okay so that's pretty cool um, click OK or we'll X out of that box there and we can also color it at this point we can still change it um, you know bigger or smaller I actually like the way it looks but you can you know change it if you want to. I'm just gonna undo that, Control Z. Okay, so let's give it a color. Um, you can just go up here and choose a color or um, in here, choose something there. I'm just gonna choose my pre-selected colors. Maybe let's choose the red or the yellow. Okay, we'll go with that. And then we'll go Object, Expand Appearance, Object, Expand. All right, so now we wanna crop it into our our rectangle. Actually, one more thing, you know, you can move it over uh, and resize it. Like, let's say you wanted the point to be over here. Just make sure that it extends. Like maybe you wanted it to be like that. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do a plain old center one. I'm just going to center it to the middle of the artboard and center, center. Okay, so now let's grab a rectangle. Click the rectangle, zoom in here and drag a box. I don't think I fit this correctly. There. Okay, I'll change that to a different color just so you can see what I'm doing here. Maybe blue, doesn't matter. Okay, so with the purple object selected, press Shift, select the yellow object, and we'll go Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Okay, so now when we when we move around here, you'll see that there's like invisible pieces almost. So let's select our yellow object here. 
I'm going to go over to the Pathfinder menu. Let's choose this one here called Trim. Just hit it a couple of times and we should no longer have that problem. Okay. And also, if you want to color these, these uh, sun things one at a time, you can just grab the Direct Selection tool and click I for eyedropper and just one at a time give them some color. And super time consuming, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that. But uh, yeah, you can do that totally. Color it whatever you want. Oops, undo that. Just make sure you use the direct selection tool or, you know, ungroup these pieces or something, whatever is easiest. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's that's all you need to know. Uh, well, oh, um, so yeah, this, this portion here was created with a background square. So right now we've got white, which isn't especially, you know, retro. Well, it could be. Okay, so I've, this is green. I'm going to press I for eyedropper and get this kind of off-white neutral cream color. And then I'm going to drop it to the bottom, right click, arrange, send to back. There we go. And of course that would look much better if I, you know, colored the pieces in a little more. Uh, green, red, again, time, time consuming. That's what it looks like in the end. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching.